recall that an antigen is a substance that is recognized by our immune system as foreign. And as a result, an immune response is stimulated against it. We also know that antigens can be foreign or self. Foreign antigens or heteroantigens are not part of our body. For example, bacteria, viruses, pollen, parasites, etc. But, self-antigens are components of our own body. For example, our own cells and cell surface molecules. The main function of our immune system is to provide protection against the invasion of foreign antigens. For this function, we have three lines of defense in our body. Namely, first line of defense, second line of defense, and third line of defense. The third line of defense is the most significant. It is made up of B and T lymphocytes which are responsible for the adaptive immunity. B and T cells express antigen-specific receptors namely, B cell receptor and T cell receptor. We have understood in our previous video lectures that B and T cell receptors are encoded by random rearrangements of pre-existing gene segments and genes. This process occurs in the early development of lymphocytes. Important point to note here is that these antigen-specific receptors of B and T cells are generated prior to the encounter of lymphocytes with the specific antigens. Our immune system generates lymphocytes clones that can virtually recognize any antigen in the universe. This also means that T and B cells having receptors against self-antigens are also being generated in our body. These lymphocytes are known as autoreactive or self-reactive lymphocytes. Now question is, if this is true, then how do we avoid attack of these self-reactive lymphocytes on our own cells and tissues? Our immune system has the ability to react with enormous and diverse foreign antigens while not reacting or mounting immune responses to the self-antigens. This means our immune system tolerates the self-antigens. The state of unresponsiveness of the immune system to a particular antigen is known as immune or immunological tolerance. This means the immune system does not mount an immune response when it encounters the antigen. The state of unresponsiveness of the immune system to self-antigens is known as self-tolerance. If self-tolerance fails or, in other words, the immune system starts responding to self-antigens, it leads to autoimmunity. That means, immune system starts attacking self. Further this may result in autoimmune diseases in which individuals' own molecules, cells, tissues, and organs are damaged as a result of immune system attack. Let's find out how immune responses to self-antigens are prevented in human body. State of unresponsiveness to self-antigens or self-tolerance is achieved by various mechanisms and processes operating on the cells of the immune system. Establishment of self-tolerance can be divided into a two-step process. First step is known as several tolerance and second step is known as peripheral tolerance. Central tolerance Here, the term central refers to the primary or central lymphoid organs where development of lymphocytes takes place. These organs are the bone marrow and thymus. These are the sites where T and B lymphocytes express their antigen receptors. These organs provide the growth factors and other molecular signals for lymphocyte maturation. Central tolerance is the tolerance induced during early development of lymphocytes. 
the mechanisms and processes of central tolerance eliminate most autoreactive B and T cells during their early development. But, central tolerance is not foolproof. This is where, role of peripheral tolerance comes into play. The term peripheral here, refers to the secondary or, peripheral lymphoid organs. These include lymph nodes, spleen, and the components of the mucosal immune system. The main function of secondary or peripheral lymphoid organs is, to capture and concentrate pathogens. These organs are the sites where, circulating lymphocytes come in contact with the antigens. And lymphocyte responses to foreign antigens are initiated. So, the autoreactive lymphocytes that, escape the central tolerance, will be found here. Peripheral tolerance is the tolerance induced in mature lymphocytes. The mechanisms and process of peripheral tolerance prevent the autoreactive mature lymphocytes from attacking self antigens. In the coming video lectures, we will explore in detail the mechanisms of central and peripheral tolerance. We will also understand how they lead to T cell and B cell tolerance. Thank you for watching.